and how you do? My name is Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting, which is the man serenading the older Mona Lisa on the left, and the younger Mona Lisa, which is a young child that's on the right, as the world knows. I've been doing an awful lot of YouTubes, and it's uh, quite a bit of numbers by now. It would take you probably well over 60 hours or so just to go through them. I've been studying uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, work in my painting um, and very little in some of his others, but because of the most sought after painting on the planet is the single portrait of the Mona Lisa, it is to where that it cannot be disputed if there is uh, the same type of work of what I have in my painting to be in the Mona to where you cannot be seen with the human eye. Now, if you take a look of a find here, you're going to, you're really going to be tripped of another find. Not only in many of my YouTubes, you'll see the x-ray of the Mona in it, along with 3,000 other documented items in which I have ended up uh, uh, showing. Uh, and this one's going to probably be 3,001. But you see this little line that runs across the break of the two little balloons of the beautiful um, dress which in one of my YouTubes actually spells out um, um, Mel Z uh, loves Leonardo. It actually spells out Mel Z loves, and then in the white is Leonardo da Vinci. And it's very difficult to pull out the white, but it's done in a very good code. But I, I have that in one of my YouTubes. But let me blow this up. It's going to be... Uh, and I already have a preset, but I want to show you the area. It's going to be right It's going to be right in this general area. And the area that it is going to be when you take this and you lay this down, and just to give you a general, you take the painting and you go over the top, and you see where it's going to line up in the Mona. That means that same particular area that has this is going to generally be in the um, water and bridge work. It actually uh, floats up a little bit more because it's not preset and you have to lower it. But you, you, you generally know where to start to look in a general area and you have to spend days if not years and I got well over five years in it but over here it is a submarine now we're talking about this is a submarine as you see, and I already have that preset, but we'll leave that one as you can see. And I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to move this one, which is under a different color than of this particular one. But we're going to move it out of the way for right now. We can bring it back if needed. And this is the same submarine but in different multicolors and this is the submarine of the Mona and when you take these two and line them up 100% exact 100% if you actually pull this down you'll see a bear here and when you put it back up there's the bear face now I'll hold it right there pull it back down you can see the outline cover of the bare face. Not every single little thing is going to come up identically in the same of uh, color scheme. Uh, because what he does, he hides his work in layers. It takes many different paintings of his to keep laying it over and over to end up with the um, picture that he's uh, hiding or or, or uh, wants it to move because his paintings move across the room like a TV, like a flip book. 
If you look in here, there is like a Santa and a Santa, Indian Santas or something with the feathers, and they're going this way. But also the submarine's going this way. And it also looks like a shark. And if you take a look in this particular area, there's a person looking back, like a moo moo or a rooster. And then there's also another big guy. And it just, these are builds. So he does totem poles. Each one of these little dots that make into one big image is actually um, portraits or cartoons that turn in. So when you take this again and you lay it over the top, you can see the fin. And the, here's the fin. And you can also see the fin runs up in here on an outline and, and it changes. You can also see an outline running through here. I don't know if you can on through the YouTube. And then you have like an eye drop. And you put this up in here. And then you can see this other outline in here that it covers that he's hiding. See how he's hiding that outline cover? And it goes in here that adds into the submarine. He has the same thing in here. So he hides it kind of like a laminated piece of uh, lamination, uh, clear, over the top of a portrait that he's letting you know that there's things hidden within the painting. Um, remember, he is extremely well known as a code man. And there's a writing across here, and it means many different things, but in one sense, it actually spells out L-O-V-E, love. And then it also spells out the same in here, but in a different code. So you put this back up. To and then you see these letters go here. So I'll drop it down, and you can see the same letters floating in the same angle. Okay, but he hides letters over the top of letters over the top of letters, and, and that's why it's extremely difficult to read. And not only that, his letters are done in upside down, sideways, cursive, um, almost like a, a finger painting uh, code of different sorts. So what I want to tell you is I want you to say your prayers. I want you to um, give me a thumbs up and pass this view and subscribe to your friends. And don't forget, I know it's not a yellow submarine, but come on, let's pass out the submarine. I'm going to see if I can find me a better image of my sleeve. Um, that is so happens to be 144 shot, but it's from a distance, not as a depth of field. And I'm going to do my very best to keep continuing with awesome finds. And um, it's just another stamp on the envelope to prove that I own a Leonardo da Vinci painting that is worth multi-billions of dollars. This is a diary in which cannot be beaten. It cannot be beaten by even Leonardo da Vinci unless he lived one more day longer. It has his whole life history hidden in this painting in code. Again, God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. Amen.